So I was looking at all of the body sex footage from 2011 when we shot the film. I love the women that were here today. Oh yes, Body Sex Australia. We're certifying some kick-ass oh. women. But the film was what got it all started. So we finally got the raw footage back. I haven't seen it yet. I know, and I was watching, we're gonna recut it and do like a deluxe like collector's edition. It's pretty exciting. Anyway, I was watching the group share after erotic recess and Marissa, I forgot, had used a mirror <coughs> during her masturbation session with the erotic recess. And you were talking about the power of mirror work, looking at yourself in a mirror. And she had a little hand mirror and I know you used a big tall standing Well, I want to see the whole body. The whole body, but you did a lot of mirror work. I did. During your celibate priestess stage in the 70s. and very healing. I really. Why? I. Uh, you just. You have to see how beautiful you are. I mean, it's, it doesn't have anything to do with Vogue or Harper's or the fashions <laughs> or anything. But you're nude in front of your mirror, and I always did it with candlelight. Yeah. And everyone candle looks good naked in candlelight. <laughs> it's. It's unbeatable. It really is. So, I would be a, an Egyptian priestess. I would be doing the dance that they taught the novitiates. I mean, I just had all kinds of fantasies that I would do. While you were self-pleasuring. Absolutely, I had the vibrator on my clip and, um, and I was dancing and moving. And sometimes the mirror became someone else, but I won't go into that. <laughs> <laughs> Except I did have an Egyptian priestess that would pay me a visit. And I, like channeling. I, yeah, channeling. Yeah. I would follow her. She would show me the moves that they used to make. Well, it's interesting that during this period, that's when you came up with a lot of the techniques, like the rock and roll orgasm and the pillow fuck and all the things that you use in your practice and in the workshops <coughs> was during this kind of period of, of exploration with the just, mirror. Yes, just staying here with, my, with myself. I was very much with myself. I wasn't dating anyone. Yeah. Sheila had just left. It's a very important, I think, for us to establish those connections with ourselves. Yep, if you can. It's very, it's a privilege, it's an honor, it's very luxurious to spend like a whole season, like several months with yourself, like you do when you date somebody. When you when you first fall in love with someone, uh, it's all hot oh, and heavy. Nah, 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 <laughs> and you just you can't wait. Just, that's how it. I had that was what I had with myself. I just had this. I look forward to every day that I would have my ritual. I would look forward to it just like it was a date. And the mirror facilitated that. Of course, because I wasn't alone. I was with my image. <laughs> it was it was a good period, a good phase. Uh, one of my hottest sex sessions with myself was I was out and about on the town in New York going to all the parties having fun getting stimulated and then I came home and I lit candles and I put on some music and I grabbed my vibe and I had a big mirror over my dresser and then a long mirror on the door you know the, yeah. the wardrobe mirror and I was just watching myself and dancing around and stopping and starting in different positions and uh, straddling things and on my back and on my side and then watching me. Yeah. Like what I look like. And enjoying it. Yes, it's almost like embracing yourself. <clears throat> it's not being critical. It's not, oh, look at that fat dent over there. And oh, when oh. do we do that as women? When do we look in a mirror and see the positive and not the negative? Almost never. So when we can do that, when you can flip it, mm -hmm. Very. Talk about healing. It is. It's, <laughs> no, it's very healing. Just, just love yourself and love the image and love what you see and just bask in this beauty of who you are. And pleasure, the beauty of pleasure. A woman yeah. really receiving pleasure, to yep. me, is the most compelling imagery out there. <clears throat> well, that's what started the porn. Yeah, that's really what it was back in the day. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. To watch a woman have an orgasm, of course, now they're faking it, but... It's really, to watch a woman have an orgasm is astonishing. And I think to watch a woman, watch yourself, 
have an orgasm it's alone even, it's even without more. any other energy in the room or any other performance anxiety or agendas or any of yeah. those things. Yeah. It's kind of pure joy. I agree. I agree. So now you all get to get out a mirror, <laughs> some kind of mirror, and always use candlelight. Ah, oh, please. You can have a some kind of a background light in the other room or something, but dance watching yourself in candlelight and then add your vibrator. It's, it's beautiful. It's quite astonishing how wonderful we look. Okay. Start your engines. <laughs> <laughs>